Hey everybody, I'm back. It's been a while. I've been out uh, teaching everywhere, but I want to get. I'm going to start uh, uh, a new uh, cowboy rough out. This one is called uh, Long Coat Cowboy, and uh, uh, here is the uh, the original that I did. That's that's the uh, six uh, view picture, uh, six side picture that I have of it. Uh, but I'm going to change it up. I'm going to. Uh, uh, this one has a turned down mustache. Uh, let me set this down here. I'm going to kind of turn it up uh, on its uh, end where it comes down. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Uh, and I, I'm going to kind of make him look more like Wyatt Earp in the uh, uh, tombstone. Uh, but uh, with that, I'm going to start right in here. and We're going to start removing wood in between this um, hand and the head and I'm just going to come in here and start with a knife and you got to get some clearance in there and I, I've got one that I started but I uh, got a little thin on the hat and I, uh, I'll i show you it and uh, that's kind of where we're headed Let me, let me get that one that I've started here. Um, here's one right, this is where I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm headed on this face and everything, but I got a little thin on this hat and I didn't, I'm gonna uh, redo it. Uh, uh, I'll fix him up, I'm gonna still finish him, but I wanna start, I wanna show you from a new one to, uh, I wanna show you how not to do this. <laughs> Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, continue to remove wood in between here. And let's take a little a bit smaller blade knife here and start rounding the chin area. And come in right in here because he's got a pretty good gap in between that hand and his chest area. And we're just kind of working on structure. See how I'm starting to round this down. Yeah, I've been out on the road and I just hadn't been able to get to these YouTubes and I, I miss doing them. I, I like to keep one going. And uh, I'm headed out to Pensacola, Florida here in the 1st of May. And then after that, I'm going to head out to Utah, out there at the Rocky Mountain Rendezvous out there. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to all of my seminars. All right, I've got that chin pretty much in there where it needs to be. I'm going to take out a little notch right in there with my knife blade. And let's see here. Now I'm going to uh, take a V and come in here and start Ving that. Uh, let me get uh, reach over here and get my V tool. And well, let's see. Here. Let me put that down just for a second here. <clears throat> and this is important to get this gap in here. Let's see here. Let me take this.
There's a lot of movement going on right in this area, right in here. Yeah, let's see. Let me get this V right here and start working it. Tuck this hand in because he does have a coat, believe it or not, showing right in there. His coat line comes up, so we got to go in and here and develop that coat area. Right in there's the hand, and right there would be the coat. Now we can come on up this way a little bit more and bring that around like that right there. Let's open this up. I like to do this first before I really start on the head. This is a part that really needs to be done. <clears throat> well, sometimes you got to take a gouge. And get in here and work this. Right in there is where I'm working that. I'm chucking that hand in. Because believe it or not, he's got a little sleeve that'll show there too. Now, I'm going to come in right through here with my V. And start shaping that area right in there. And that's pretty much right now. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take my V and I'm going to outline this jaw, and this is a, like a 10 millimeter V, a big one. Come in there like that. And I'll outline in right through here. And extend it on out here where the hair will be. And the shoulder. right there yeah he's coming along now let's take our V and come in and start being in this hat brim a little bit uh, I'm going to take a, a knife now and come in and kind of tuck this hair back Kind of down into that shoulder area. Like that right there. Now, uh, let's, I'm going to take this and kind of tuck this hair in just a little bit more. And I'm going to continue around with my V tool. To extend that brim of the hat on around. 
like that right there. Now, I'm going to cut up in here in just a minute, but I've got to bring this nose back. Uh, he's going to have to come in, oh, about like that. We need to remove this piece of wood right in here. So I'm going to take my knife blade and come in here and start tucking that back down toward my forehead. And I'm leaving this thick. I'm going to work this here before I work before I work this. And I like to flatten that over to like that. Take some more wood out right in here on the top of the nose. Let's turn it around this way. Just about there. Right in there. He's looking looking pretty good. take out a little bit more wood right in here all right he's coming right along now right up in here I'm gonna clean that that brim of the hat up I want it kind of flat across here Right there in front of that forehead. Let's turn it this way. Like that right there. And then let's, right in here, I'm gonna smooth this out with my knife blade. And I'll redraw my lines on. Well, let me see. Let me take this knife right here. And just cleaning up those duplicator marks. Let's do it over here. What's the time looking like, Peyton? Mm, got about 11 minutes. Oh, okay. 11, we're into 11 minutes, right? Yep. Okay. All right, and let's see here. Let's uh, take the gouge now and kind of around these little edges right here and take the duplicator marks off. Let's see what I got going in there. He's looking, he's looking like I need him to. Then I'm gonna come in here and work around this hat area. Now, what I did on the other one, I undercut like that with a V-tool. I'm not on this time. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to make my cut around here. And I'll show you here when I get it ready here. I want to clean up this brim a little bit with my gouge. And this is, by the way, a two millimeter gouge. It's a shallow gouge. And it's, 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 it does a good job on this uh, brim of this hat. All right, 
and we got that right in there. Now let's do this side. Let's kind of raise it up just a little. And bring this on around. Yeah, now that's... Now right in here, I'm going to take my knife blade. And... Um, I'm going to kind of tuck that in right in there. And then I'll redraw where my sideburn will be. Now let's... Now I'm going to take uh, my V right here. It's a 10 millimeter V. And I'm going to kind of draw on the line that I'm going to be cutting. in here come across here like this now on this one right here I undercut that and I wasn't supposed to do that I'm gonna uh, let me set this one back up here uh, it, really I, what I was supposed to do just come across like this And you can do that. I mean, but I'm going to finish that other piece. It's just you know, like that. Now I'm going to continue over here. I want to work the top of that ear and the hat in. Now let's get some side. All right. Now that's looking the way I want it to. Uh, I do want to take uh, and work this nose just a little bit. Uh, and let's see, I'm going to take this little knife right here. And kind of shave the duplicator marks off my piece. And we'll round that end of that nose just a little bit more. It was a little flat there on the bottom. And we're putting a little profile in right in there. And the wing of the nose needs to go up just a little bit more right over here. All right, now we can come in and start kind of cleaning this up a little bit more. We may need to get in there and redraw our lines on. Those were just temporary lines. But you gotta remember we're still in the rough rough stages of this guy. He's still a rough out. Yeah, he's coming right along. Uh, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna go ahead and shave this off a little bit. And I'm going to redraw my lines to kind of give you an idea of where everything's going to be lying. After all that drawing I did, I'm taking them off. But I want this good and round right in here. And it's getting there. And that nose, let's... Uh, Let's go in and put us a, a center line right down through here just to kind of keep that nose symmetrical. Get the shape in there. Um, let's see. Let me excuse, let me get this little tool right here. I'm going to shave this down just a little. Nose is just a little wide. 
I'll do it over here. And it takes a while to get in your structure of your carving. All right, let's, let's clean this up over here a little bit more. And I'll redraw all my lines when I get this cleaned up. Put it up underneath there. All right, it's coming along. Uh, let's clean this up right in here a little. It just looks better when you can get these all these duplicated marks off. And you can really go in and draw on everything. Sometimes you got to turn it around to get, let's get this blade here and kind of. Yeah, she's coming along the way I need it to be now. Oh, <clears throat> that nose needs to come down this way a little bit more like that it's a little flat right over here I'm going to round take that flatness off right in there is where I'm working what's the time looking like Peyton? Mm, got about two minutes Ten minutes? Two. Two minutes, all right. Well, I'm going to get this. Okay, now I'm going to redraw my lines on. Right here is where I want that mustache to come off the wing of the nose and it's gonna come down and kind of sweep up like that sometimes my lighting's not where I need it to be Right in here will be the ear. And uh, off camera, I'm going to probably go in and do some hollowing out on this hat a little. Here will come down. All right, uh, this will have to come down a little bit right in here, like 
like that. And um, I, I'll come in and I'll hollow this out and take this little top knot out. And uh, I'll leave a little bit in here to show you how I do it. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, guys, uh, uh, with that said, uh, now this is a little, uh, this mustache I made a little bit thinner, but I want this one to really come hang down a little bit lower. Uh, but I'm going to put these uh, little cartoony eyes on, on this one also. I like that. It's not like the picture. Let me show you the picture. Uh, these eyes have, uh, these are different eyes. I mean, that's what I, I, I usually teach those eyes at my seminars. Uh, but I want to, I, I want a different look on this guy. And well, I want to, I want everybody to have an option on how to do this fella. So with that guys, uh, happy carbon to everyone. And we'll see you on the next YouTube. See you later. Bye.